Today, I'll show you two methods that you can use on how to set minimum word count for your WordPress blog posts. This is perfect if you have writers and you want to set the minimum for them to write on your website. So the first method involves using a plugin. So let's go to our dashboard. We'll head over to plugins, add new, and the plugin we're looking for is publish press checklist. It's easier to set up than to say the name. So let's search for the plugin. This is the one we want. So we'll go ahead and click install now. And then you can stick around to activate the plugin as well. For this tutorial, we'll be using the free version, but know that there is also a pro version or a premium version available that offers many more features like checklists for WooCommerce products and things like that. But for this, we can just use the free version. Great. Once it's activated over on the left, you'll see an area called checklists. And from here, we can go to checklists to set things up. From here, you have all of these checklist items that you can turn on. And you can also show who can ignore this. So if you just want the authors to do that, but if you want editors or administrators to not have to deal with that, then you can choose that here. But you can set your min and max, and then you can choose to disable, recommend, or be required. If you recommend it, then it's simply going to show them a note that they should get to a certain level, but they can overwrite it if they want, whereas required means they won't be able to publish unless they get to that minimum threshold. Great. Now that we have all that set, we can scroll all the way down and save changes. And now if there aren't enough words on the document, then they can't click on the publish. And you see with the checklist area, it, has, it says that it's not between the word count minimum. And then as soon as they hit the word count minimum, then they're able to hit publish. Now, if you don't want to set up a plugin like this, then you can do the next method, which is by setting it with code. Now with code, you'll want to make sure that you back up your website and that you're comfortable with adding code. In order to add the code, you can, you'll want to add this bit of function that we'll have in our written tutorial that you can grab the code for, and you'll want to put it in your functions.php page. Or if you're more comfortable, you can add it to the snippet plugin. The snippet plugin is just an easy way to add snippets of code to your website without having to go into your themes functions page. So we're searching for and installing code snippets. And once that's installed, we'll see this little snippet area where we can go to snippets add new, and we'll create a new function. Give it a name, and then let's go ahead and add this bit of code. Again, you can find this in our written tutorial. And you can change this here to make the minimum requirement. For this, we just have it as 100 words. So once you do all that, let's go ahead and click Save Changes and activate it. So then it will be live to work on our site. Then when you go to add a new post, and when you try to go and publish this, then you'll get an error it says that the post needs to be a minimum amount here. And now once you set all of this up, make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through step by step on how to use the Gutenberg blog editor for your WordPress website. And I'll see you over there.